Right here we are, guys. Um, what I what I basically recommend for this hole is going to be the uh, sniper. If you can go a sniper, you should be able to set up right on this spot up here. It's a rough bump. It's a lot more reliable than the shot that I'm going to go for. You're not going to need much spin at all, and that's one of the biggest reasons to go for this shot. It's going to be more so than anything just a curl shot. And the biggest reason to use sniper is the fact that we... Uh, you know, don't need to uh, worry so much about the great ball right causing us problem. Now, what I'll typically do is my max ring adjustment. For me, that's going to be about a ring and a half. For you guys, um, if, especially if you have sniper, all you almost have to do is have it unlocked. So you don't need a really fancy sniper. Um, but what you'll see is I'm just going to need to do some kind of curl to get this ball coming off this slope here rolling towards the hole so it looks like I needed just a little bit more curl it doesn't really need top spin backspin anything maybe a half a bar of backspin I wouldn't try to get too carried away another advantage to the sniper is you just kind of got to play one per ring and as I mentioned I play it very close to kind of max club whatever the max club adjustment is very close to that maybe just go just a little extra you know five ten percent very small amount because we are a little bit more towards the min club. However, we're using the max, which is an overplay. So with Sniper, it's almost one per ring. You might just want to go just a touch more. You can see with what I did with the Viper. Still going to be doable. It's the same exact spin. You know, just a little bit of backspin is all you're going to need there. But it's a good opportunity. Hopefully you guys are able to get it.